Let's visually create a simple popover in Plasmic without any custom code. So I'm going to start by creating a sort of menu bar. Let's say I want a horizontal stack here, and inside the horizontal stack, I'll add a button. This will trigger the actual popover. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Um, and then maybe next to it, I'll have some text. Uh, just click here for the popover. Um, and I'll center this vertically, add some spacing to the left of the text. OK. Now, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this whole uh, menu bar into a component it's called menu bar. Let's open it up in its own view. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rely on the uh, focus within CSS uh, selector. So uh, I can do that by adding an interaction variant here. I'm going to say whenever I'm focused within this component, I want things to appear a certain way. So now let's start adding our uh, conditional elements here. So I'm going to first um, add a uh, vertical stack for the menu itself. So this thing, I actually want it to be free floating and not part of the layout. I want it to be also, let's say, um, uh, all the way to the left here. I'll just set it to zero and then zero. So uh, now it's directly over the button and whatnot. Um, we'll see how to adjust that in a little bit. I'm going to add some background, some shadows, and some rounded corners here. Um, now, I don't want it to be directly over the, the button. I want it to be below the button. So I can position it manually like this. Or if I just want to make sure it's always positioned so that its top is at the bottom of the component, then I can set the top to be 100%. And now it'll always below be below the com component. And uh, you know the component itself, I can get rid of the padding if I want to. Um, so it's directly touching. Now, um, inside of this uh, container, I can add whatever other elements I want, such as uh, some menu items. I'll add a few of these. I can adjust the spacing on this as well. Um, and that's pretty much it, actually. Uh, so now I can see this thing popping up and disappearing. Now, one thing is if I click inside of it, it's going to go away uh, because it's losing focus. So uh, I'm going to select this thing. I'm going to add a, a, um, an attribute called tab index. I'm just going to set it to, let's say, 0 for now. And if I try again, now it works. And what tab index does is it just makes the element itself focusable. So that's all it takes.